Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Darwin the Radical Gamer, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last time, I think we were, um, Sayori left, uh, for some reason, and, uh, we're getting really close with Yuri again. Natsuki hates us for, for some reason, and I think we're getting ready for the festival, so, let me continue where we left off. <clears throat> Get my reading voice ready. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or do you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, Stragnating? What the heck? Okay, whatever, whatever. I hate these words. Stragnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. What do you mean? I don't like I don't like what you just said, Yuri. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Ah. Uh, it seems you're right. Ah. Uh, Siori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. S Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and she went home early. I don't know why. I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Yeah, for real. I, I like I, I like the other girl, okay? Shut up, Natsuki. <laughs> and, and second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. H who? What the heck is that sa Okay, that, that's weird. Who says whoa? Alright, whatever. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... I, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle them all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Siori will be helping me design them, even though she is very much not in a good mood. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, oh. Uh, this is awkward. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. N now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you, on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then what? Then I won't grow as a person. So y Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Donovan. The one who is truly useless. I definitely... Yeah, I can agree. Uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could also help me out as well. It would be really... I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Oh my god! Wow! How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I... 
suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Dharma may not like to be around you only if only if you only make him out to be a nuisance. I can't read. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. Whoa. I'm literally recording and I can confirm you did say that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Donovan to... What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think you... Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. I know for real. Y'all calm down. In the end, I think it's up to Donovan to decide who he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh my god. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Donovan, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to have to go with... Uh-oh. Oh, Sayori. Ooh, I kind of... <laughs> you know, like, I like Yuri, but the thing is, I really care about Sayori. So, I'm going to just check him on Sayori. I mean... If it's going to be anyone, then I prefer hoping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no! Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think about the club, okay? Oh, so I can't even choose Sayori? Wow, that's messed up. Well, I mean, I might, well, might as well go with my original choice, I guess. Which would be Yuri, obviously, because... Natsuki hates me. And, like I said before, I mildly dislike her. And, I don't know, Monica, you already, got, you already got Sayori helping you, so what's the point? So, uh, yeah, I guess Yuri. So, let's, let's go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. Uh, no, I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Donovan? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. Yeah, very. Like a... Uh, like the worst warhead like you if you guys know warheads like the little candies you know when you get like one like that's super sour and then that sourness just stays in your mouth the rest of the day and you can't get rid of it yeah that's that's how sour Natsuki is so is that everything we need needed to go over yeah that should be about it are you guys excited well excited may not be the right word but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit do you feel the same way, Donovan? Me? Moi? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. How about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Donovan picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... Why well, I'm the one acting immature? I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said anything bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Yuri's words. 
but she already has trouble with words. Trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Siori. Aww. Even if I didn't work perfectly, I even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry f for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah. Uh, I believe in you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um, eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Ooh, Don, I'll see you, I'll see you. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I haven't cleaned. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should. it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sh I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Because it's definitely not. <laughs> I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Donovan. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only choose, only if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, Yuri thinks to herself in an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> yeah, having a girl over at the house, let's get it. <laughs> After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. And away we go. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots out through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous about Sayori if that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like I feel that way about each other. It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Alright. It's already Sunday. Hey! That was fast. That only took like three seconds. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Just the two. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been, we've even been texting occasionally. Ooh. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning about, learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the cl left club. She left club early the other day. I think that's a typo, but whatever. It's not like we text it's not like we text each other all the time or anything. 
but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Oh, this is a new angle. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, rather than asking, I simply I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play. Again, we used to play. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to have a breakdown because of how bad I read. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. That's how you read. That's how you English. The house is quiet. Siori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Oh, is this her room? She has a cow. And is that a is that a chicken? Looks like an angry bird. Sayori? Hi, Donovan. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. And it's playing the very sad and depressing music. I, 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 I hate this, honestly. This, uh, this is, why is this getting sad? I'm scared. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Siori's room is as messy as it's always been, and it's not that bad. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how do you know that? That's true, how, how do you know that? Siori had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Siori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Donovan. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> why are you laughing at- No! Don't say that! Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh. <laughs> Siori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Donovan. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Saying what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Donovan? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh, oh that's horrible. <sighs> this is getting deep. This is getting really deep, and I don't like it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I I'm not crying. I'm not crying. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. I'm sorry. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. 
and just w and that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Donovan. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I w Wait, did, did I skip it? Wait. Did, did I skip that? I hope I didn't skip that, but... That's why I wanted it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discover something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Donovan. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always has. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Please don't, please don't say that. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I make you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Oh my god, this is... This is so deep. Oh my god. This hurts, man. This hurts. Uh, Donovan. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with ev everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Donovan. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Donovan. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Donovan. The only time I've not f I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Siori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like it for- how'd you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Siori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. 
Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. N no, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I would really, I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time. It's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? Yeah, it, yeah, you can. It would be fun. Yeah, for real. You know, hang out with us. Even though it kind of, kind of ruins the moment. But hey, you can, you can chill with us. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I, I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Wow. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I'm okay, finally the, the sad music is over. <laughs> but man, dude, Sayori, that's that sucks. If if any if any people watching this are going through that, you know. Just know that there, there's just talk to someone, okay? Like, just talk to anyone, you know. Open up, as open up to people as much as you want to hide inside you, you know. Just open up to people, cause it, it'll really help you. All right. <sighs> okay, we're gonna continue now. You, now we're gonna hang out with Yuri. Let's hope this is more happy. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Is this wait? Is this my house? It looks the exact same as yours. Whatever. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have, you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more, on, hurried more on my way home. That's how you English. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it would be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing we do is glance around curiously, which makes you feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so trust me, it was a huge mess. There's probably clothes everywhere. That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. It would be really embarrassing for... I would, I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean, but that that, that ruins the purpose. We would have just been cleaning for like an hour. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. What the heck was in that drawer? Huh? What was in the drawer? What was it? Weird. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if she's, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity, and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an extreme, an experience, not an extreme, or we could say an extreme experience that will leave them wanting more. See, I, I, I should have wrote this script. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? I guess that's the best way of putting, I guess that's the best way of putting it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? 
That makes me feel relieved. <laughs> and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden s s cylinder. Why did I s like not say that right? I was like s s s cylinder shaped object. <laughs> I did. Oh, I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be pretty, well, pretty neat or really neat, whatever. English. What's the wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Oh, okay, I know what those are. It's like the the little like crescent shaped thing, and then it has like a long stick, and then it's like burning, and then you can like smell. Yeah. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Okay, real me, I do know what that is, but but cause, cause I, I I know someone that does like ther like massage therapy and stuff like that. I'm not gonna say who. But yes, I do know someone that does like massage therapy and like spa and relaxation and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I kind of know this stuff. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contri contrib contributors. I was going to say contributions. Contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it per permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Romance, eh? Hey. Hey. hey, 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 hey. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch out the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine, ascension o jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotion and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Oh yeah, I have it right here. We won't be using the paper for a folding origami. Aw oh, man, origami's kind of cool. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need more. Um, we'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper. I why did I skip that? Um, you guys can pause and read what she said. I honestly don't know. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Definitely. I'm gonna pretend I know what she said. It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Aw, oh, she's blushing. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed than it's just when it's just the two of us? Just the two... Okay, stop. <laughs> or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here, Here's a marker, Donovan. You can write any characters you want. Can I draw a... When she means by characters, I know she means like like Japanese symbols or something, right? Can I just draw like an actual character? Can I just draw like a JoJo character on there and call it a day? That'd be funny. <laughs> I'll help you once you finish. Once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long s unravel like. Like Tokyo Ghoul? Okay, never mind. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh, snap. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Why do you even have a pocket knife? 
It looks fancy. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Unless you're, unless you're like a psycho, like a psychopathic murderer, then yeah, maybe I'll judge, I'll judge you. <laughs> to each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Oh. Um. Okay. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. You don't... I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Ooh, what am I saying? Um. I'm uncomfortable, but... Okay, whatever. I said I wouldn't judge. We said we wouldn't judge. Alright, we, we said we wouldn't judge. <clears throat> Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ahaha! <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just fun- it's, it's just funny how nervous you get- you got about sharing. It- it's- well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me, as you should. Because if you face it me the other way, then I'm, uh, I'm running. <laughs> I take it in and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of a knife with my index finger. Ow! Donovan! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp! Straight up bleeding everywhere. <laughs> I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It could cut through skin like, like it's paper. Oh my god. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Uh, uh. Why did I make like a... Like a Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like when I said ah, I was like ah. Meow. <laughs> Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> what? Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the- Whoa! <laughs> um... I feel her tongue curl around my- Oh! Um... Can she get a disease from that? <laughs> Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I- Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise. Oh, oh yeah, I sure did. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Um, sure, let's go with that. Yuri, I think you're over overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Um. Um. You see, I don't think that's how you solve problems. But, D Donovan. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this is weird. <laughs> this is very odd. Is it hot in here? Is it just me? <laughs> did, did you really just do that? N now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. For real. <laughs> You're kinda dumb. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Donovan. What do you mean? You just... <laughs> you just licked my finger! And my had blood on it! What is wrong with... <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, I took off the text. Okay, there we go. You're so weird, Donovan. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? Nah, uh I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. 
I don't think I need one actually. It was a, it was just a tiny cut. Tis but a scratch. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. Thank God. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Dang, like err. <laughs> Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? Do I just realize, are we just going to ignore the whole fact that we licked each other's fingers? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of them, each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I don't know why people use those cups. They're literally just for, like, brushing your teeth. Even the king... I legit just use my hand. I just scoop water in my hand, put it in my mouth, spit. Like, who uses a cup? That's just a waste of paper. Because they're usually made out of plastic or paper, so it's just a waste. I put them on a, I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come, in, I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, okay. Weird, that's weird, alright. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Turn on the AC. Ah, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri, Yuri hurriedly, <laughs> Yuri hurriedly, haha. <laughs> Dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang out on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! What are you going to write? Well... It will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need, I don't need to go out to do crazy, to do, and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Oh, <laughs> let me snooze my alarm. My bad. <laughs> Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite, are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. That's true. Honestly, yeah, I can agree with that. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. By move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. I hate when that happens. When you like hit your head against someone else, it, it hurts bad. Kya! S sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should. I sh sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. Oh, it's not your fault. Ah, uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? 
Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Ooh, I like this. I like this angle. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Uh? Just for a little bit longer. Oh, it feels really nice. Ah, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist sent a tingling sensation through my arm. Whoa, this, this is getting intense. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Well, that, that was a little intense, but I guess we're just putting it to the side. That should do it! I finish filling the night nice sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy. I'm I'm really happy with the results. Sorry, I mixed up the voices. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we would have had we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important and the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. Aw, oh, she's sad that it's all over. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Ooh. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out at the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. Uh, my, I keep snoozing my alarm. This is the last time I'm going to snooze it, then I'm going to end the video. <laughs> I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we could do this again. Whenever you want, you could come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway... You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Donovan. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S sayori Eh? Ah. Sayori's here. Oh. Uh-oh, Sayori's here. H Hi, Donovan. Sayori? Just now, we weren't... <laughs> 
It's okay, Donovan. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Ah, uh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Siori beams. Y yeah, so... I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Siori waves goodbye after. Sayori? I thought you didn't want to come over today. Okay. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this video here because we're ending... We're reaching the time limit for the video. And I guess that's... I guess next time we're going to see why Sayori is here at our house and why this very sad music is playing once again. So, we will see that next time in the next video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more radical content. And for more Doki Doki Literature Club, as sad as it's about to get, I think. Because this is very sad. And I will see you guys next time. Stay radical, y'all.